CBS New York Times poll shows Ben Carson has a national lead. Blake Berman has the latest on that poll from Washington. Blake. Hi there, Sandra. Donald Trump had led every major national poll for more than 100 days, dating all the way back to early July until this morning. A brand new poll from CBS and the New York Times shows Dr. Ben Carson on top of Trump nationally, 26 to 22. Marco Rubio, Jeb Bush, Carly Fiorina appear in the next tier with the rest of the field at 4% or less. Is this short-lived or the start of something new, especially with the next debate coming up tomorrow night? We'll see in the upcoming days, but for now, this also mirrors a trend in Iowa. The latest Iowa poll from Monmouth University shows Carson with a commanding 14-point lead there with 32% support. Carson's levels in Iowa appear more defined as he's won four of the last five polls there. In an interview just this past hour, Trump was asked about Carson's recent surge, and he said, this was his reaction, that Carson has problems that are about to be revealed. Here was some of that interview. Quote, a lot of things will come out now, and we'll see how he holds up to the scrutiny. I've been there for, I guess, a hundred and some odd days, and we'll see how Ben holds up to the scrutiny. Donald Trump just a little while ago. That scrutiny could very well come from Trump himself, who has said in the recent days that he doesn't know about Carson's faith. He also called Carson weak on immigration and not up to the challenge in negotiating successful trade deals. And Sandra, as I mentioned, that debate tomorrow night. Back All to right. you. And Fox Business is in a couple weeks. All right, Blake, we're going exactly. to yep. down. All right, John, why is Dr. Ben Carson gaining so much in the polls right now? Well, I think that uh, the Republican base is looking for an outsider, and it looks like Donald Trump is wearing out his welcome with part of that base, and so people are turning to Ben Carson and trying to decide if he's an alternative. It's, early, it's very early in this race still. Uh, it's hard to know at this point who's going to hold up in the end. Car Go ahead. Carson in Iowa, and I've said this before, the homeschooling network of people is a critical base of support for him. And they have a, a great deal of political power in terms of getting out the vote and even in fundraising. And you've seen this particularly with the, with the Tea Party a few years ago. And I think that that's one huge advantage that he has in that state that Trump does not. Speaking of fundraising, talk about Jeb Bush. I mean, the most recent quarter he still raised more money than anybody else i know his burn rate is big and, and that's he, but now he's about. cutting and he's, he's cutting his staff but th but in this poll you've got uh, marco rubio jeb bush carly fiorina do you anticipate a big move from any of them post the next debate? I think debate there are going to be a lot of moves. You know, if we, if we look back to the 2012 cycle, there were a lot of people who came up and then fell back. I mean, at this, at this point, uh, four years ago, we were talking about Newt Gingrich is the high flyer, and he fell out a few months before anyone cast a single vote. And we ended up getting the establishment candidate in the Republican Party, Mitt Romney, as the candidate. So I think you still can't count out a guy like Bush. All right. Uh, we want to turn to the markets now.